Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best budget beast in Madden 21 right now, guys. Now, I haven't made this video in what feels like as well forever. I used most of the November and like October and Christmas month really on just focusing around the content that was coming out because obviously there's a bunch going on day to day. So there's been so much that I haven't really had the need to throw like do these videos where like I kind of just go over stuff in the game, update you guys, make videos that help you guys on a day to day basis because there's been so much content to go over in videos regarding that. But now that we're having some little slow time here, I'll be able to go ahead and make some of these videos where you guys have been asking for for a while. And quite honestly, probably some of my more popular ones, you guys really do love these types of videos. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, turn on that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and always, if you guys need any coins, head on over to my reserve down below in the comments, uh, well, not the comments, but the description, and uh, to hit the link, use code Poodle for 30% off, 30% discount is still going on, you guys do try to get it, it is the holiday discount that will be still going on for quite a bit, so make sure to take advantage of it before it is too late. But moving on from that, guys, let's head on over, let's start this list, because this list can take a little bit. So again, this list takes some time. There's a lot, there's a lot into it. Now remember, when I make this list, it's price to skill ratio, right? So like a player that's worth 300 k that's the player's like good, he's overpriced, right? Because he's worth 300 k you know, it's a pretty high price. Then you might say a player that's 120 k is on a budget player. Well, that's not exactly true. If he can perform like a 400 k card and he's only 100 k that's a budget player in my opinion. So the first guy on this list coming in number eight, now these aren't exactly in order, they're kind of just like my top eight. Kenyon Drake. Now again, he's he's on 120k. Now if you want you want to get him for super cheap. What you do is you go play the solos, and you can get him for free, doing getting Drake getting chill factor, or you go do the set and then you sell the master and you keep Kenyon Drake for damn near free. Also, either way, but he's 115k now. Again, 93 speed is all that matters here, right? He has a speed. But then you might say, okay, well he also needs agility and change of direction because this is Madden 21. Got 90, 90, 90, 90, 93. Again, he can't truck. He can't do much else. He has a decent catch actually. But again, you're not going to get all those that combination of speed, change of direction, and agility. He can't be powered up, but again, that's why it's called the budget beast. You know, if you're, if you're a budget team, you're probably not powering up everyone and going crazy into abilities. You're probably trying to find the cheapest value for your money so you can at least try to compete and put a team on the field. Coming at number seven, we got Champ Bailey. Now, Champ Bailey, another guy, 100K. But again, he gets everything you're going to need. Power him up. He will have 90 play rec, 94 man, 88 zone, 90 press. Now you're thinking, right? How is this a budget beast? He, but lockdown uh, maxed out and you power him up he will have 99 man he will have above 90 zone and above 90 press and 92 speed so you're gonna have a 92 speed 99 man coverage corner and a man coverage meta right so you're going to be essentially having what will feel like one of the best coverage corners in the game with a good enough speed for a good price you really cannot go wrong with champ bailey in my opinion next on the list we're taking it back to halloween for some of these guys as well because there's some really good halloween and thanksgiving guys that are still around in the game that's going to be Derek Thomas. Now, Derek Thomas got a really good Halloween card uh, right here. 92 overall right as a linebacker. Can be powered up to 93. You can get him for, as it says here, it says about 115K. But again, if you filter it out properly, you're probably going to get him cheaper. He has 88 speed. 92 excel. 89 strength. 89 tackle. 88 play rank. 87 block shed. 91 power move and 90 finesse. So he's going to have the power and finesse move already. Powered up and tempted though, guys, but run stuff. You can get him above 90 run stuff or above 90 block shed. You can get him above 90 strength. You can get him to 89 speed. So he's going to be one of the most athletic pass rushers in the game with a great with a great uh, power move, a great finesse move, and a great block shed. Six foot three. He's only going to cost you slightly over 100k. And like I said, guys, inflation is like a real thing. As you get to this point in the game, money is like there's just coins everywhere. There's so many solos, so much level up stuff. Coins are a lot easier to get, so you have to take that with like into account that. A 100k player as a budget player now is more like when I used to go like over 40 to 80k players. Like, as coins become more, you know, easy to get and players become more higher priced and stuff, like these cards aren't as expensive as you may think. Next, we got Marquise Brown. Hollywood Brown is the next guy on the list now. He's about 145, but again, same thing with him is that not as many are up, up on the block as he is right now, so you could probably find him for cheaper. It really just depends on the time of the day. But you're gonna get him for 94 speed and all the route running thresholds and the catching thresholds, so. Essentially, you're getting one of the best wide receivers in the game with 94 speed because of the whole Thanksgiving performance. I would highly recommend you pick up Marquise Brown. 
Again, he's going to be the speed guy in the budget squad. Every budget squad needs one. I was going to go with Ruggs, but Ruggs doesn't have the route running or the catching. Marquise Brown, for a slightly inflated cost, does get just about everything. Like I said, he will play like a 300k wide receiver, despite his height and everything. So that's why I think he should be on there regardless. And then next, going back to Halloween again here. This guy seems to be good every Madden, pretty much the entire year round, up until he gets like a defensive player of the year card or team of the year, whether or not, you know, despite what Chevron ends up getting. Aaron Donald. Now, Aaron Donald gets a most feared card here. He had one for a while. Now, 137 again. Another guy if you filter out and you're waiting, you probably get cheaper. If you can power, be powered up and chemed up, so it's 93 overall. He will have above 93 block shed, above 93 power move, above 93 play rack. He'll have a 94 strength and 80 speed. So, he'll have decent athleticism. If you don't like it on the outside, you can put him into the inside. But he's going to be a, like, and, and that's the other thing, too. These are like end game cards where you can just hold them on your team and keep powering them up throughout the year as he gets new cards. You can never go wrong with an Aaron Donald card. Next, let's see who else on the list. We got Ricky Jackson. Now, Ricky Jackson, another guy that's just been good pretty much all year. Ricky Jackson has been a guy that, even if you get his, like, lower overall card, he's still going to do damage. Now, his cheapest you can find him for now is 95k, which is actually a great price. And remember, you can power him up. So, off the rip, he has 86 speed, 89 excel, 90 blocks, 91 power move. So, that's already good because he has the block shed threshold, the power move threshold, and he's got great athleticism. And then the power up just further solidifies that he gets... 90 excel and 87 speed and then he also gets about well above a 91 power move with pass rush uh chemmed up and then of course his block shit is good too and his play rec he's been one of the most athletic pass rushers the whole year and not to mention he will get more upgrades but for the time being you have a 93 overall you pair him up with Derek thomas and for literally under about 200k or slightly over you're getting two pass rushing beasts that will do damage at this point in the game regardless of who you have um you know on which side doesn't really matter so yeah definitely pick up ricky jackson then we got one more guy well, two more guys now, Leroy Selman is one of the next guys on the list. Leroy Selman. Okay, that's not, that's not coming out right. Let's try to spell it the other way. He is similar to the other guys in that he gets all the thresholds at a pretty cheap price, which is something that not a lot of guys do. Now, Leroy Selman is going to go on his base card for about 176 k Now, again, he's a 94 overall, and you can probably get him for around 130 to 140 at the right time. He's going to be fluctuating. Or you could do a set, which will probably save you some coins. But Leroy Selman's going to be the example of, like, a god-tier kind of card at this point. Like, he's in, the, like, on a budget squad, you're going to get him to a 95 powered up, which means, essentially, he's going to blow away Ricky Jackson, Derek Thomas. He'll get 86 speed, 92 excel. His block shit can get to a 99 or his power move, whichever one you end up deciding as your team cam, whether it's pass rush or run stuff. So that's the thing. Like, Leroy Selman can end up being, like, an anchor, an anchor, a defender, and pass rusher on the squad, which is why he's so great. He's really good, like I said, for 175. And if you do this set, or you snipe out the piece, or you snipe out, you can probably get him for up to, like, lowest 130 highest 150 but again it just might take some time but that's why i mean he's definitely worth like i said you're getting a guy that's probably worth you know like a 400k card but just because of the name not maybe not name brand and maybe not exactly you know people don't really like legends as much this year so it kind of contributes to it and for the final guy in this list we got uh dante cold pepper coins for the quarterback that most people were considering the meta back or well, the meta quarterback like two three weeks ago you can, you can power him up he love it. he's exactly you need a strong arm quarterback but he's like the meta with, with decent mobility. He'll have 86 speed. He will get to 99 throw power, I believe, with play fake. So you put play fake on him. He'll get 99 throw power. He'll get above 90 short, above 90 medium, above 90 deep, above 90 throw under pressure. So he'll have every throwing threshold as well as having an 86 speed and 99 throw power and getting gunslinger. He fits exactly what this game is this year. It's getting all the quarterback th throwing thresholds while also being able to scramble just enough to survive in the pocket and then also having gunslinger. Now, he has a little bit more speed than just enough. He will be decently mobile and the throw power, of course. So, Cole Pepper's going to be right there for one of the best quarterbacks in the game as we stand anyways. And on top of that, he is going to only be 91,000 coins, which is kind of a steal. And you can get his power up. You can go do the, uh, you know, you can either try to snipe him out. You can buy him, pick up coins for him, whatever you got to do to, you know, get it all done. But that's it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Comment down below. Like the video. And, of course, if you need coins, head on over to Mart Reserve and use code Buddha for 30% off. It's still going on the holiday sales, so make sure you're taking advantage, like I said before. So once it's gone, it does go back to 15%, so you don't want to miss out on the extra 15. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.